What's going on guys? So today I'm coming at you with yet another mod and today that is in the form of a Bluetooth adapter for the BMW business CD unit. Uh, you know if you have the business CD unit it fits first of all not the Navi unit and second of all if it looks like that. So I ordered this kit off uh, eBay after seeing a link on uh, M3 forums and uh it looks like a pretty good quality kit. It was about 50 bucks. It's got a, a USB. You could put an SD card in there, an auxiliary if you want, or I'm just going to use it for Bluetooth. Uh, it comes with all the harnesses and everything you need, and even a microphone, so you can use it to talk on the phone. Uh, this applies to anything that has a business CD in it, whether it's an E46, an E39, uh, an E38. So let's get on and show how to install it. You need to gain access to the radio, so the first step to do that is to remove this trim right here. And to do that, there's clips holding it on. So what I took is just a flathead. There's, uh, you know, plastic trim removal tools that you can use as well. But I just took a flathead, wrapped it in some tape, and we're going to go under here carefully, not to damage anything. And just put it in under there and just pry all the clips out. If you break a clip, you can buy them from the dealer cheap. Usually they do break on old BMWs, just the way it is. So don't be worried if that's the case. And you can see, you just pull that straight off. And that attaches on the corner right there. And as you can see, the rest of my trim is coming off because obviously there's a clip broken right there. So now I'm just going to pop the other side off and then we'll get to the next. Once you remove the trim, this is what you're going to see. And to pop the unit out, you're going to have to take out this Phillips head screw right here and the one right here. And then after that, we're gonna move on. Once you remove those two screws, the whole unit just pulls out. Uh, you wanna remove the harness over there and the antenna, so that way we can just get it out of the way to make the install easier for now. The harness has a little bracket right here, as you can see, this thing right there, that just pushes up, and then once you push that up out of the way, it just pulls out. And the antenna itself, it just pulls out. So let's go. This is the size of the unit that's going to go back there. So to make it easier to see where we're going to place it, what I'm going to do is remove the climate control as well. And all you have to do is put a hand here, pull, put another hand here, pull, and that removes the clips. Then you just pull out and you can just leave it hanging there for the moment being. And now we'll move on to the... So what you guys want to do is take this harness, the new one that came in the box, Plug it into the stock location, and once you do that, you push the clip down, so it goes all the way down. Then we're going to take this cable right here. This little nub right here is going to stay on this side, and it plugs into, if you're looking at the port right over the top like this, it's the right side. If you're looking at it normally, it'd be the left side. But we're going to put it to this side right here, and you're just going to push straight down, and then that, that's that. Then we're going to move. Your next step is to take this other harness that comes in the box, which is this big cable and this smaller cable. You plug the big cable into the box, and then you take this cable and made it up with the other harness that you plugged into the unit. And now we're going to install this part of the adapter harness into the stock one. And then once we do that, we're going to plug the connections back in and finally... What I did was place the unit up behind the climate control right there. That's about the only space you can get it because the climate control is obviously very uh, shallow and doesn't go back far at all. So the best place to put it is that right there to the right. Uh, once you do that, you can pop the climate control back in. And then I took the microphone, ran it up through here, and the bottom of the microphone has some 3M tape on it. So I'm just gonna 3M tape it probably above the steering wheel housing right there. And then the trim will cover up the wire. It'll just be a little piece that comes out from there to there that you'll barely be able to see. So now I'm going to tuck all these wires back there, plug in the unit, put those two screws back in, and then we're going to test. So obviously it just looks like stock when you get all the wires tucked away. What I did was I removed those two screws on the vent assembly. It just pulls up and out. And then I just pulled the wires higher up behind the vent assembly to allow more room for the wires behind the radio to get pushed back because it does get tight in there with that many wires. Uh, once you do that and have this back and good to go, the next step is to insert your key in the ignition, 
go to position two. Um, once you go to position two, what you need to do is go on your phone, open up the Bluetooth, and connect to the Bluetooth name that says Car Kit. I just hit that, it connected. And then once you do that, you turn your radio on. You go to mode. And if you notice, it automatically goes to CD5-88. That's what it is on for the Bluetooth to work. And then from there, that's it guys. The Bluetooth should be connected. It works good, sounds really good. And uh, that's about it for 50 bucks. It's nice to retain the OEM look and have Bluetooth with hands-free talking on your phone and playing, you know, Pandora or YouTube or anything else for music off your phone. So anyway, guys, if this helps you out, feel free to like the video and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.